I'm Sam from Wolf and Wing and I'm a witch and animist from the south of England and I wanted to make a little video pondering why we feel connections to particular plants and animals. So my dog has been ill recently and it actually, he's on the mend now um, but it turned into a kind of beautiful opportunity for me to think about my beliefs. So, as an animist, I have a kind of non-duality perspective on things. So I don't really see matter and mind as separate, or matter and consciousness, matter and spirit, matter and magic kind of believe that those things are interwoven in us and in everything in the rest of the natural world and so I was thinking about spirit or soul and what I believe happens with that when we die um, obviously our bodies get recycled and reused and I love that um, that physicist expression of us all being made of stardust, being made of star stuff. Um, and that feels really true for me. And kind of woven in with that, it's like we're made of the same materials as the stars. And woven in with that is this kind of sense of soul or magic or spirit. I still haven't really found words for these things. I'm kind of playing. So what I really loved and what brought me some comfort worrying about my dog <laughs> was thinking that when we die and we get recycled maybe the parts of us that have a soul our makeup our souls get recycled too and maybe sometimes they're a bit more sticky than others so part of a, a bigger soul part might get recycled as one thing. Um, maybe a tree gets remade as a tree, for example. Um, and maybe sometimes other things get mingled in. So when I was created, there are a few different um, plants and animals that I feel like I have really strong connections to. Wolves, deer, seals, cherry trees. Those are like my main ones. I know there are other ones as well. Um, but I just thought what a beautiful idea that somehow when we're made, elements are recycled from other plants and animals and creations, maybe moss and rocks and stars. And those things get tangled together in this kind of precious tangle that becomes us. And so when we when we are near a tree, like a cherry tree for me, that, that feels like my soul tree, maybe it is, maybe that's why. Maybe a part of me was once a cherry tree, or maybe a part of me was once in an orchard with somebody else who was also part of a tree, and that's why we feel that kinship when we meet perfect strangers sometimes. Perhaps we were in the same wolf pack or seal clan, um, and I just felt this lovely sense of kind of peace and magic when I was thinking that about my dog and wondering about the connections that we might have had in our previous lives, not necessarily in that very kind of soul centered way of like you have one kind of soul and it pops into different bodies, but more like as if everything is kind of cookie dough <laughs> and sometimes we get chocolate chips <laughs> and raisins and things mixed in that came from somebody else or something else and maybe when we feel that kinship with another animal or another plant just thinking about you know how some herbs work really well for some people and not so well for others maybe there's something about our systems that just recognizes particular plant magic same with crystals as well all of these kind of these things that um kind of have magical properties that we feel really drawn to um 
So yeah, it was just something that I found really soothing to think that perhaps my dog and I had known each other as two trees in a forest, <laughs> as moss in a tree, um, as other animals, even as maybe part, you know, maybe we were woven together in the same tree. Um, so yeah, I just found that really comforting and that it also got me thinking about the ways that we feel these pulls, these deep pulls that we sometimes feel towards a particular other being that we might end up getting tattooed on our skin or decorating our house with, that kind of thing. Do you ever wonder about that? Why do we love the things that we love? Were we once part of them? Or, and, are we going to be part of them again? And is that some of the magnetism that we can feel? Is like we're being pulled towards that future where we are part of the same tree. <laughs>